All right, guys, so here's the deal. I just realized that we are halfway through February and I barely have any looks to show for it. Now, granted, I have had quite an eventful past few months. This is not me beating myself up or anything, but um, yeah, I want to focus on serving more looks going forward in 2024, okay? L-E-W-K-S. Instead of me purchasing some new viral TikTok product every week and trying it out only to forget about it two seconds later, I feel like I need to focus on using all of the beautiful makeup that I already have in my collection, get those creativity juices flowing, and yeah, create more looks. So today is going to be the first of hopefully many many endeavors. As you can see, I already have one eye done. I'm going to create this, I don't know what you would call this, spring woodland fairy-esque type of look using products already in my collection, okay? You can consider this a shop my stash of sorts. So for eyeshadow, we are going to be using the Can Make Juicy Pure Eyes in number 15 Sunset Kiss. And it is this lovely trio of purple, orange, and bronze, which is a color combo that I don't see very often. I had the feminine urge to slap this on my eyes. It is no secret that I am not a fan of most of Can Make's eyeshadow offerings, but for some reason, their most popular eyeshadow series, like the Perfect Stylist Eyes or the Silky Souffle Eyes, I feel like the formula for those popular series are so so subpar to this day i don't understand the hype around them but yet yeah, this line which is one of their long-standing series the juicy pure eyes trio i find to be actually quite acceptable it's ironic and this number 15 would probably be my favorite colorway out of all the ones that are available in this line as always we're priming our lids with the tone activator primer by kaleidos can't believe that i am still nowhere done with this tube so I'm going to take a fluffy all over eyeshadow brush and sweep that light orange all over the lid. None of the shadows in this palette are matte. All of them have some sort of shimmer component to them with the one in the center being the most reflective like topper shade. Then using a slightly stiffer brush, I'm going to dip into the purple and make sure that it's stamped on really nicely on the inner corner and I'm gonna drag that out across the entire width of my lid and then I'm just gonna use like a fluffier blending brush to buff out the inner curve oh yeah and this is going to be a Douyin style look if I didn't mention that already if you couldn't tell by the under eye area but um maybe I should make this a series Douyin looks l-e-w-k S 2024. It could be original looks, it could be inspired looks from references that I found on Little Red Book or from, you know, old school music videos that I've always wanted to recreate the makeup look of the singer for. Like just anything that happens to inspire me in the moment. So I'm using this um, shadow sticks from the ColourPop Alice in Wonderland collection. This is actually one of my favorite eyeshadows to use for inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna amp up the iridescence with this Uzu shade liner in Prism Blue. This eyeliner is actually not that impressive in my opinion. It's very very faint and watery. I don't recommend purchasing but layered on top of the shadow sticks here, I think I found at least somewhat of a use for it. Alright, before I shade in the tear bag area, I am going to apply one of these eyelash tattoos. I didn't say that I was giving up all the trends for good, okay? Like, only the useless ones. Believe it or not, the lower eyelash tattoos stuck with me. Like... Okay, maybe it does look kind of crazy in person, but in pictures, amazing. Sickening. Actually, before I put the eyelash tattoo on, I have to put on this ColourPop glitterly obsessed gel because I want the glitter to be underneath the eyelashes, right? This is Miss Piggy's It's Moi from the Muppets collection, which was very cute actually. I did a review on that. I'll link it in the cards, but I feel like the colors in the palette just did not suit my skin tone or something. So I always apply, I applied too much on this side. I had to scrape some of the glitter off even. It's just, it's easy to apply too much with the glitterly obsessed gel. They're so huge and chunky. 
Ooh, that's cute. It has like a scaly light green slash turquoise reflect. Kind of reminds me of like insect wings flapping, you know, in a meadow amongst the flowers. Yeah, you can tell spring is on my mind because it's been freezing for way too long here in Tokyo and I'm so over it. Okay, I think that's a good amount actually. So now we're going to take our eyelash tattoo and press it up really, really close against a natural lash line. Make sure you have your damp cotton pad ready to soak the back. You guys know how temporary tattoos work, right? It's the same thing, except just to mimic your bottom lashes. <laughs> and then, like, I don't know the exact instructions how long you're supposed to leave it on for, but I would say just press gently for a good 30 seconds at least. And then at one point you can just lift it. You see that? Is my ring light too bright? Alright, so now that the eyelash tattoo is on, we have the guide for where our lash line, the new lash line, is going to be. And I'm gonna go in with a dark brown eyeliner to emphasize that. And just like with this eye, I'm gonna bring it up and create this like empty empty space cat eye and we'll connect that directly into the top liner oh i almost forgot we need to add the topper shade topper copper on the center of my lids sorry you guys know my order of application is all over the place sometimes this is just part of my creative process i feel like this look is cute like this little palette definitely um, you know, the colorway that they thought of here works together really well. But even with the understanding that the shadows are going to be more muted than, you know, your typical Western eyeshadow, I still feel like it's fading a little too quickly for me. Like, I put on a pretty thick layer of eyeshadow primer underneath, and yet I had to reapply this purple, and I'm gonna do it again on this side too, because, I don't know, it's just like not showing up that well. Yeah, I think we can see it now. Um, I'm going to use a slightly lighter eyeliner specifically for the tear bag to create the shadow underneath. And then I'm going to buff that out with this Can Make Plum Puku Coordinate Eyes Tear Bag Palette. <laughs> Listen, it's all about the tear bags over here in Douyin land. That looks nice. Going to quickly pop my right lash on and then I'll be back for cheeky stuff. And for blush, I'm going to use one of my most prized makeup possessions, my Fab Fig Best Ever Shine Cheek Duo. This is in 04 Cotton Lavender. I'm so sorry, I don't think you can get this outside of Japan because this is a very small, very niche Japanese influencer brand. It's like a almost hybrid powder slash cream formula. Definitely more on the dry side though, but not, not your generic pressed powder. It is so super blurring, like a filter. This will smooth out all your pores, all your texture. It applies really evenly and opaquely, as you can see, which I think is very impressive, especially for the color lavender. And then this side is more of a dry powder. This is the highlighting side. So I'm just going to put that on like the high planes of my cheeks. And I love how there's glitters scattered throughout. I don't know if you can see through the camera. Okay, I think we are pretty much done here. So this is my spring inspired woodland fairy-esque Douyin look. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that look and I hope I'm motivated to do more using my existing makeup items because it's such a shame. I really do have such an extensive colorful makeup collection at this point and yet only I would say less than 5% of it 
actually gets used on a regular basis. That just doesn't sound right to me, so I'm going to do my best to change that moving forward. You guys should try out this color combo, lilac and orange, or lilac and peach. If you haven't already, it is quite refreshing, I must say.